Hello there, beautiful people, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Miss Danielle. Here on my channel, we talk about all things Jesus Christ. We have Bible studies, prayer, words of encouragement, biblical teachings. If that's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and let's get right into the video. So, hello, my beautiful people. Today's video is going to be another words of encouragement type video. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about, you know, how to discern people in our life. You know, God gives us this basic instruction of wisdom for a purpose. So the verse for this video is Matthew 7, 17, and it reads, Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Also, verse 18 says, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So we're going to compare this to the people in our life. Now, let's talk about a tree. Every good tree, we're talking about fruit trees, all the trees that give us oxygen, the trees that bring forth fruit for us to eat, to nourish our body. If you've ever seen a fruit tree, the fruit on it, it grows and it becomes ripe and then eventually you can you know eat from the tree and you get nourishment from the fruit you know so a bad tree a bad tree does not grow um they can even look scary they don't have leaves when when it's time for you know trees to have leaves because you know in the fall leaves fall off but in the summertime you know trees are supposed to have leaves they're supposed to look vibrant they're supposed to blow in the wind they're supposed to provide oxygen this is a good and a bad tree. So people, you can tell a tree by its fruit. Okay, so let's let's compare this to a person. A person who has always been good to you. They've always helped you every time you're around them. If you need anything, they're there. They always give you good wisdom. You can always talk to them. This is a good person in your life. And the characteristics of them are good you know what i'm saying they're honest they're genuine they're loving they're loyal they're respectful they pour into other people they help you know what i'm saying they're a peacemaker they love people they have a loving spirit they speak positively out their mouth you know what i'm saying like this is a good tree this person has the characteristics of a good tree a good tree brings forth good fruit and again this person when they bring forth good fruit the things that they're doing and contributing to the world are good things. The team that they're a part of, they help, they win, you know, their family life, they take care of their family. And again, if a mother and a father are taking care of their children the right way, the children are going to grow up and be good people in the world. You know what I mean? Because they poured into that and the children are their fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever they're pouring into is going to be their fruit. Now, a person who brings forth evil fruit, bad fruit. They're sowing seeds of unrighteousness. They're sowing seeds of wickedness. They're not helping you. They're hindering you. They're hurting you. They're harming you. They're projecting insecurities on you. They're, you know what I'm saying? They're not listening to you. They're not helping you. Every time they come around, it's like chaotic. Um, and they have vices. Like they smoke, they drink, they fornicate, they lie, they cheat, they steal. They seek to harm you. They're not, and they're not helping you. Jesus told us to identify false prophets by their fruits. So the people who talk like they're, um, you know, of God, but their fruit isn't matching up. This is how you can discern and tell that if they're a false prophet or if they're a false, you know, child of God or chosen or whatever they want to call themselves. Like you tell a person by their fruits. That's why I say like you need to get to know people. You need to understand where a person comes from. What have they done? Do they have a criminal record? Do they have bad rapport? Like look at a person's history and in their history, you're going to see their works and their fruits. If a person's always late, always, you know, being disrespectful, mouthing off, all of this stuff is in the world already. Like you're going to know it because if you go back and look at what they've done, talk to the people that they know, get some type of report about this person or people in your life because again you can tell if a tree is good or if a tree is bad and god tells us exactly how to do that you look at what a person has done and what they are doing and what they have done previously um he says false prophets will not produce good fruits look at what a person's done a person can say whatever they want you know words are words 
but you have to really look at a person's history and what they are doing. And like I said, uh, you know, a bad tree, a lot of times these people have vices. Uh, a vice is literally like a habit, um, something a person is doing. Vice is an immoral, it's immoral or wicked behavior. It says criminal activities involving prostitution, pornography, or drugs. An immoral or wicked personal characteristic. So yeah, a vice is something that's negative. It says a vice is a practice, behavior, or habit generally considered morally wrong in the associated society. Yeah, it's a negative characteristic trait. So yeah, a person's vices, like I said, they may smoke all the time, they may drink all the time, they may have sex all the time with people outside of marriage. They may be in the world of prostitution, they may be in the world of pornography. These are vices, these are immoral or wicked personal characteristics and if a person has these things they might they're they're not a good tree you know what i'm saying because like a, like i said a good i was about to say they probably are not a good tree but they aren't a good tree because a good tree they're gonna have characteristics of the fruits of the spirit they're gonna have love joy peace long suffering kindness gentleness goodness self-control you know what i'm saying they're gonna have good things about them and it's important that you know who you're dealing with in this world because God wants to protect you. There's so many times that people have been fooled by a person's words or like the the image that they're trying to portray and they don't really know the person and the person ends up taking them out. God doesn't want that to happen to you. He doesn't want that to happen to you or anyone you know. So you have to have discernment. And if the Holy Spirit is convicting you and like you get a feeling, a gut feeling, a bad dream, a sign, whatever, that is for your protection. You should take heed to that. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell a tree by its fruits. And like I said, God doesn't want us to be getting tricked or fooled by the enemy. His word has so much wisdom in it, the Holy Bible. And it's all true. Like, it's all true. It's so true. Like, if you read the Bible and it's talking about strange women, the wicked man, the wicked woman, um, children, like, it talks about the characteristics of some of these people. And if you really sit there and read it and think about it, these are people that you know. These are your exes. These are some of your father or mother these are some of your friends like the behaviors and the characteristics be matching up too good so it's true you know what i mean so like you have to take you have to take god's word as truth and like i said good trees they only bear good fruit it can it could never be a bad tree it cannot bear bad fruit only thing that's gonna come from it is good so the person in your life or the people that that come to you acting like they're good people, look at what they've done. Look at who they've been with. Look at their patterns, their habits. Look at what they're saying. Look at the way they act around you and the way they act around people in public, the way they act around their friends, the way they act around their mama or their daddy. Like you really have to look at all this stuff and then you have to come to a place of, you know, judging them righteously. like. Is this person a good person? Is this person a bad person? Can I trust this person? Can I depend on this person? Can I, you know, share my truth or who I am with this person and trust that they won't betray me or use my personal information against me or, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> so, yeah, it's important to discern these trees in our lives. Because, like I said, God doesn't want us to be getting hurt. He don't. Because a lot of times when we get hurt by people, it lasts for a long time. And then, you know, like, we, we become jaded. We become resentful. We become bitter. We become angry. And now we're in a place where we can't even be used by God. Or God can't even get to us or bless us because we're so busy being angry. So, he really wants to protect us. Like I said, I want to challenge you to discern the fruit in your life 
And really, like, sometimes you might even have to sit down and make you a little list, like, a good side and a bad side. And then if that good outweighs the bad, you can work on it. But if the bad outweighs the good, it's probably not a good tree. So, look, I pray this video blessed you. I want to send you off with a prayer. So, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, right now we thank you and we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you give us the ability to discern the trees in our life. We pray that we can understand what is good fruit and what is bad fruit. Lord, we pray that you be in the presence of us always and that you continue to watch over us and protect us from evil, hurt, harm, and danger. We pray, Father God, that you fill our lives with your peace, love, comfort, joy, kindness, and mercy, Father God. We thank you for everything that you do for us each and every day. We love you so much. We trust you. And we will continue to keep our faith and belief in you. And it's in the name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. So look, I pray that this video blessed you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.